So everyone, and I mean everyone around the world, is still talking about Toronto Mayor John Tory's surprise resignation. Yep, that came after he admitted to having a consensual affair with a staffer. So uh, what do we think of it? Like, do you think this was a valid reason for a resignation, Jess? I don't know, quite frankly, but I will say that a lot of people are suggesting that maybe this is a bit of a distraction. And you guys know me, I think I'm not, I generally tend to not be like conspiratorially minded but you know our premier Doug Ford he's giving us plenty of um, distraction he in every recent sort of news conference uh, about the green belt lately he has misled and outright lied on numerous occasions and um, the very developers who are going to benefit from this green belt stuff going down we're all at his daughter's wedding or at the steak and dough and paid thousands of dollars. Like, this is Mario Puzo level of, cons <laughs> like, of darkness. You know what I mean? Of, of it's just, I, so I, for John Tory, I wonder, again, I'm not conspiratorially minded, but did but it someone is politics. this news to the Toronto Star to be like, don't look over here, look away, look over there. I mean, you have to ask like the her. question of like, how, why did this come out? Yeah. Like, clearly, somebody was saying, "Hey, yeah. we have. I'm gonna guess. We have footage. We have. We know this happened. Mm -hmm. If you don't step down, that's what I think. I don't think that's too far. He, he was sort of. He said, was strong armed. Yeah. I assume to, to do that. I just can't believe. You it. think he was strong armed to step down? I do. I don't think so. You don't think so? Can you tell me? No. What's your theory? And the only reason why I say that is because, yes, normally that's how it happens, but that's normally how it happens in American politics. Oh. And this is a very different situation, right? Because uh, the one of the reporters, there were three reporters that broke this story. And this morning, it was David Ryder, who was on our sister station, News Talk 1010 in Toronto. And he was asked, when did this all start? And they started to get tips in December. Wow. Now, where did those tips come from? Don't know, to your point, Jess. We don't know if they were sniffing or if they were dropped on the desk. So when the reporters, the other, I want to name them as well, Ben Spur and Alicia Hasham, when they started to sniff around, they were like, oh, there's something here. Now, as a good reporter, you're going to do the job and see why. Not because they're in for the salacious headline, but that is very much counter to what we know John Tory's character to be. He's known as no story Tory because he's kind of boring. Yeah. <laughs> well. And so people, and he's at the opening of everything in the city. He's at the opening of an envelope. There's nobody that seems to work harder than this mayor. And for all intents and purposes, you might not like his politics, but he got us through the pandemic. Yeah. Listen, we're battered and bruised. Everybody is. But a lot of people overall believe he did a good job. So this is a shocking the city story is a mess. for him. The city no, no, is but a you're right. mess right now. But could I'm it get saying, worse? I did not yes. vote for him yeah. in the last election. And I, I will say, well, first of all, I, I, let's, let's, I have lots to say. What do you think of our That's quaint a, Canadian yes. politics? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, as an American, I am an expert on Canadian <laughs> politics. <laughs> I've just been like, I've been hearing about it all morning because like I just got here last night. Uh, so I don't know. I'm just kind of excited to hear what her, I'm interested to hear yeah. what her side of the story is. You think she's going to speak maybe? I think you, she probably has to, right? Mm -hmm. Like yeah. she's going to be asking her like what happened and like what was the power dynamic and was yeah. there an abuse of the power dynamic? I'd be curious to know what that is. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, because uh, why, why I invoked American politics is politics is theater, but it's American style politics that have always garnered us, our attention. We've been sucked into the Trump Sorry. vortex Sorry for Sorry years, yeah. you know, <laughs> yeah. But I think some of that rubbed off, you know, in our, you know, you, do you know who Rob Ford was? Uh, not until this morning. Okay, yeah, it's fair, no, that's I fair. I would remember yeah. from some late yeah. night uh, talk show sort of appearances and so on. He, um, oh, you mean the last mayor? Yes. Yeah, I know I did know about oh, that. Yes. Yes. But by the yes. way, so just some context, the last mayor uh, was busted for yeah. smoking crack, among <laughs> other things, but did not step down. That's right. Yes. Yes. That's right. So if we're, I mean, I know that crack smoking is not the same as a maybe a, like a power imbalance relationship with a staffer. Mm -hmm. However, they're simple. still morally compromised, but the crack smoking did not re result in a loss of a job. That's right. Whereas <laughs> this did. And that's the conundrum here. make light of this because but sometimes you have to go light because everything yes. is so dark so yes. there was some amazing commentary yeah. online on the weekend um, I believe this one came from Cyrus Marcus Ware um, who's a, been a guest on our show and is wonderful this one said uh, it's okay to be a bad mayor but adultery is too far yeah. <laughs> and this one that went viral, uh, 
I think from a woman named Nadia who said a, a 30 year old, one, 31 year old woman hooking up with John Tory is the only data you need to know how bad. <laughs> went through the effort of finding a vintage, a bunch of vintage tweets from John Tory back in his radio days. I think this is from 2010, and he himself tweeted out. Uh, here's a, on Wednesday's show, we're gonna try to answer the question, do bonuses lead to cheating in the workplace? <laughs> Maybe we have our answer there. Let me there. give you another I'll throwback from throw okay. John, yeah. John Tory. In 2011, he also tweeted about cheating, and this did not age well. Um, he said, when it comes to men and cheating, is the little head calling all the shots? Oh. What about the women? And then, listen. He said he was no story Tory. <laughs> because everybody is trying to, as Cynthia said, follow the timeline. So everybody's pointing to the timeline and what John Tory looked like in the timeline of this period. <laughs> and this oh. is, remember our, the mayor was famous for his pandemic hair. So and so happy. everybody was pointing out that this was the hair that he, and then comparing it, Jess, you're gonna like this. Jess, comparing it, and there's a Sopranos reference coming up. You mentioned Mario Puzo. Oh, <laughs> oh sorry. So there is a Sopranos reference coming up because then somebody else referred to it as his oh, Rubio Soprano oh my hair. God. <laughs> Too far. Too far. That's me. It's kind of the same Too cut. far. Well, we do know. That maybe while he was telling all of us to social distance, clearly he wasn't. Yeah. Clearly he wasn't. So, oh my God. anyway, listen, the latest breaking news I was just watching uh, CP24, which is also our sister station, and it sounds like there may, there may be a group of counselors trying to band together to get him to change his mind about resigning. Really? To come back? No story, Tori just turned into big story, Tori. <laughs> Big time. So this story is unfolding literally as we speak. Hey there, wasn't that great? Do you know where you can find some equally good content? Our YouTube page. It's filled with discussions, debates, and some laughs. Head there now, like and subscribe.